Hey guys, Tim here from Boogie Snail Mushroom. Hope you're having a very great day. In this uh, video, I'm gonna talk how manipulation of the track width in Mushroom can affect loudness. And I will also give you a couple of techniques you can apply uh, to help in the process of this loudness creation. So, before we start, please remember, if you have a mix that you need mustard, request a quote at bsmastering.com and uh, receive 50% of your first order. I would also very much appreciate, guys, if you subscribe and hit the notification bell uh, to support them my channel it helps me to bring more uh, videos and uh, now let's get started <laughs> Remember, most of the power of a mix comes from its center, while outsides provide color and texture for the track to sit in. The obvious way to control the balance between these two entities is a mess processing, either through adjustment to the stereo width controls as a part of MS matrixing plugin, or by influencing the representation of uh, the MS channels with uh, compression and equalization. The main groove elements and lead vocal typically live in the mid channel, while pads, ambience effects and uh, supporting instruments live in the sides. Mid-side uh, compression therefore gives us a chance to control the dynamics of the groove or vocal without affecting the clarity and dynamics of the uh, stereo elements. Here are two simple techniques that you can apply uh, to help in the process of this loudness creation. Compress the mid-channel. This is where the power of your mix lies. So ensure it has a consistent amount of sound energy behind it. As a byproduct, you will probably enhance a principal instruments, giving the track more of a direct sound with less detail and embellishment. The effect might be subtle, but it is clear refocusing of the direction of the music towards power. As you can see on the screen, the compressor is in uh, MS mode with unlinked channels. I compress only the mid channel. I find that slow attack time between 80 and 100 milliseconds a good starting point. It allows uh, transients of the kick and bass uh, to really have power. And then I set a fast uh, release time, which is bouncy but not too gluey, around 100 milliseconds. Ratio is one uh, fine. 5.21 uh, sidechain filter is about 150 hertz gain reduction is uh, not more than uh, 2 dB I start uh, concentrating the energy in the center of the mix all mid range and highs start inducing the compression and with the mid channel gain control I start uh, driving the power of this mid-channel. Then I use gain control of the side signal to adjust stereo width of this track. So please note that I'm not uh, doing any compression on the sides. So finally, I achieve compressed energy in the center and the light, airy, uncompressed sides. This is a technique that is very often used. It is my secret uh, weapon, so to say. Just experiment with it and you will never stop using it. So, and now let's have a listen and A-B this trick uh, with this mid-channel uh, compression off and on.
attenuate base in the side channel. Base in the side channel is somewhat wasted entity given that our ears can't discern stereo information beneath 100 Hz very well. As a result, you will free up a small amount of additional sound energy, as well as uh, producing a tight and more defined bass overall. So you can do this by switching to the side mode of um, the EQ you are using and uh, set high pass filter at 100 Hz. Only do this when uh, there are no elements of the sides of the mix that specifically need frequencies below 100 Hz. Hertz, such as panning of the bass or kick drums that are placed on the sides. And this will create a bigger distinction between the centered lower frequencies and the higher frequencies on the sides. This accentuated um, difference between mid and side will make your sound, uh, sound wider. So, and now let's have a listen and A-B this uh, trick again. <laughs> 